big 20 by 4 inch tires, Brad style handlebars, a headlight, a 23 inch long seat, suitable for riding two up, and a large fuel tank area that's used for storing the battery pack. All these accessories and design elements were carefully chosen by Monday Motorbikes to create a motorcycle inspired look for their improved Anza 2.0 model. This Class 2 e bike will be offered in two modifications. Both are based on an aluminum alloy frame, but their power outputs and battery sizes vary. The base model's powertrain consists of a 500 watt DC hub motor and a 48 volt 11.6 amp hour battery pack, good for 30 miles of riding at speeds below 25 miles per hour. The top of the line bike has a more powerful 750 watt motor. 28 mile per hour speed capabilities and a battery pack good for 40 miles of riding. It's a 48 volt, 14 amp hour unit that can be fully recharged in about five hours. Besides the all electric throttle power, this bike has a smart pedal assist system that would let you ride effortlessly and get over the hill without breaking a sweat. The amount of chosen pedal assistance will be shown on the 3.6 inch LCD segment display alongside other important riding data. The world of light electric vehicles is truly amazing. In the past, we've been introduced to electric bike models that look like an average bicycle but possess motorcycle-like specifications and top speeds. However, when it comes to the new Beachman 64 model, situation is quite opposite. With an electric motor that was limited to just 500 watts of power, this two-wheeler looks like a classic cafe racer but actually performs like a class 2 electric bicycle. It has a set of folding pedals that are to be mainly used when you have little to no charge left. Speaking of the charge, the bike's 40 amp hour battery can let you ride for up to 55 miles. Please note that the top speed of this two-wheeler has been restricted to the class two level, which is just 20 miles per hour. Since this e-bike has room for two passengers, the restricted performance may not be appealing to all potential buyers. That's why the manufacturer is planning on releasing a version of the Beachman 64 that's capable of moped-like performance. This electric moped will have no pedals, be able to accelerate to 37 miles per hour, and will require a corresponding license. Astro is an upcoming Class 3 electric bicycle that has a unique motorcycle-like design that features a massive front light, a swept-back handlebar, 20 by 4.25 inch fat tires with fenders, turn signals, triple crown suspension fork, and an elongated gel saddle with built-in rear lights. The bike is motivated by a 750 watt electric motor that's integrated in the rear wheel hub. The motor is activated by means of a twist throttle or a cadence sensing pedal assist system. The information about the chosen pedal assist system, as well as the riding speed, remaining battery charge, and other technical data can be looked up on a large backlit display panel. The battery size and the range autonomy of the Astro bike depend on the modification that you purchase. The base model is supplied with a 52 volt, 15 amp hour removable battery pack that's good for 50 miles of riding. The Astro Pro Bicycle is equipped with a 52-volt, 20-amp-hour battery pack that will let you ride for up to 78 miles. The battery size comes to be the only difference between the models, as both are supplied with adjustable front forks, four-piston hydraulic brakes with 180mm rotors, a 4-amp fast charger, and 28-mile-per-hour top speed capabilities. EFTR 1.2 electric bike is a result of cooperation between two American brands that specialize in the design and production of two-wheeled transport, Indian motorcycles, and Super 73. The new model combines the S2 platform and the Super 73 powertrain with iconic styling inherent to Indian motorcycle models. The unique look of this model features inverted front forks, moto-style handlebars, an elongated bench seat, an LED headlight with an FTR-inspired wind deflector and a set of fat tires. 
20 by 4.5 inch tire in the front, and a 20 by 5 inch tire in the rear. In terms of specifications, this model mimics the performance of the S2 model by Super 73. It weighs 73 pounds and is motivated by an electric motor with a 2 kilowatt peak output capability. The motor is paired to a 960 watt hour battery pack that offers up to 40 miles of riding on throttle power alone. Besides the throttle operation, the bike can also work in one of four available performance modes, three of which are reserved for urban riding, while the most powerful off-road mode was developed for off-road use. In the off-road mode, you can unleash the maximum power and ride at speeds close to 28 miles per hour. If you're a fan of electric bicycles that inherited old-school moped designs, then you'd be glad to learn about the latest news from Onyx Motorbikes Company. For the upcoming 2022 model year, they announced the revival of their city-oriented electric moped. This upcoming model would be less powerful than the flagship racer bike, but would still receive some of the best specifications in the class of battery-powered commuting vehicles. This two-wheeler is equipped with an electric motor rated for 1,500 watts of nominal and 4,000 watts of peak output. In order to comply with regulations for urban electric transport, the bike comes with a 20 mile per hour top speed limiter. If you'd like to gain access to the full powertrain potential, the 40 mile per hour top speed and 45 degree hill climbing capabilities should be unlocked manually. The motor of the Onyx City 2 moped is paired to a 60 volt, 23 amp hour battery pack that can provide up to 60 miles of continuous riding. This range estimation was based on the average speed of 20 miles per hour. Once depleted, the battery would need to spend at least 6 hours hooked up to a 5 amp charger or just 3 hours when a 9 amp charging option is used. The unconventional approaches to designing modern electric bikes don't always get approval from the majority of riders, but those who are brave enough to switch to electric two-wheelers are very likely to receive a lot of attention on the road. The Vinci e-bike is a representative of the class of personal mobility vehicles that boast a design with both retro and futuristic elements. This personal mobility vehicle is based on a tubular aluminum frame that neatly incorporates a 2300 lumen LED light in the front and an 800 lumen light in the rear. The frame also incorporates a 48 volt, 15 amp hour battery pack. This unit can power a 750 watt electric motor for about 35 miles. If you decide to use the bike's pedal assist system, the range estimations would increase to about 50 miles. In order to ensure the bike's smooth operation at speeds reaching 35 miles per hour, the creators of the Vinci bike equipped it with front and rear suspension, hydraulic disc brakes, and 20-inch wheels with 4-inch fat tires. If the company manages to find the required funding to start the production, the first Vinci bikes will be shipped to Lucky Riders in the spring of 2022. Rumble Motors is a Swedish-American company that specializes in creating motorcycle-style electric bicycles. The brand's motto is to bring the past and the future together, so the looks of their products are generally influenced by the motorbike designs of the past. The most recent addition to their model range are the Air SS and the Air SST bikes. Although Rumble Air SS is still equipped with a set of pedals, it has specifications similar to those of a lightweight motorbike. Being motivated by a 5,000 watt rear hub motor, it can easily reach the top speed of 65 miles per hour. With a 72 volt, 50 amp hour battery, the pedal free riding is said to be close to 100 miles. The hydraulic regenerative brake system is also there to catch some of the energy and recharge the battery on the go. The Air SST model is a two wheeler for those who enjoy the looks of old style cafe racers. It has the same specifications as the Air SS model, but a completely reworked exterior design with a new continuous tank and seat. Cafe Racer handlebars, custom powered coated finishes, custom laser cut cover panels, an LED headlight, turn signals, and much more.
Vintage Electric Bikes is a California-based manufacturer of electric bicycles that combine exciting retro looks with modern powertrains. For the upcoming model year, the brand decided to make no changes to the designs of their bicycles, but introduced a much-awaited upgrade in the technical department. Three of the company's flagship products will be sold with a 72-volt electrical system. With this upgrade, the new vintage electric bikes will have twice as much torque and a significant improvement of the 5 to 30 mph per hour acceleration time compared to the previous year's models. The 72-volt performance line will also come with a larger 1,152-watt-hour battery pack that can provide up to 75 miles of riding. It will also support fast charging and can be fully replenished in just three hours. Please note that in order to make their bike street legal, the manufacturer created two power modes. The city riding mode would restrict throttle power to just 20 miles per hour, while the off-road racing mode would unlock the full potential of the 4 kilowatt powertrain and would let you sprint to the top speed of 40 miles per hour. The history of this Australian manufacturer of electric bicycles started almost 10 years ago. Their first intention was to create a simple yet effective and sustainable form of transport for surfers who need to commute and transport their gear. Their attempts turned out to be so good that a decision to turn into a business was inevitable. Fast forward many years and today their product range consists of a large variety of beach cruiser and vintage inspired e-bikes. We strongly encourage you to check out their full product range while we'd like to concentrate our attention on the most powerful offering in their lineup. The Dope Lemon is a powerful dual-motor electric bicycle that's good for both carefree city cruising as well as conquering steep hills with ease. The combination of two 500-watt motors would let you achieve the 25-mile-per-hour speed on throttle power only. The motors are juiced by a 48-volt, 16-amp-hour battery pack suitable for 25 miles of pedal-free journeys. Other noteworthy features of the Dope Lemon include a dual suspension fork, front and rear hydraulic disc brakes, 24 by 4 inch all-terrain tires, handcrafted custom leather grips, and a twin banana seat. Heritage Bike is a French manufacturer of electric pedal-assisted bicycles that have designs greatly influenced by the motorcycling culture of the past. Their two-wheelers feature vintage-style head and tail lamps, leather elements, a fuel tank area that doubles as a storage compartment, and interesting accessories such as a passenger sidecar. The Heritage bikes are powered by a 250-watt mid-mounted electric motor, a Gates carbon drive, and a removable 504-watt-hour lithium-ion battery pack. Most of the powertrain components were placed as low as possible in order to achieve a good weight distribution and to lower the center of gravity. The motor can provide four levels of electrified support and let you accelerate to the top speed of 15 miles per hour. The manufacturer's estimated pedal assist range is said to be close to 75 miles. Despite the retro design, these bikes are equipped with the latest smart features, namely the real-time security alerts, GPS location tracking, and smartphone control app. Our team is working hard on bringing the latest and greatest news from the world of electric two-wheelers. If you'd like to support our efforts, please subscribe for further updates and feel free to share our work with your friends or request new product reviews in the comments section below. Thanks once again and till next time.